Proposition 47 was voted into law. In November, the measure reduces certain charges from felonies to misdemeanor crimes. 23 ABC's Carlos Gray reports tonight that an initiative continues to be a hot topic button, a hot button topic, I should say, issue in our community as groups still try to understand what it means. Juan Avila is the director of operations for Garden Pathways. It's a group working with people facing many challenges, including incarceration. We create a great environment where we help the individual uh, go through a life journey of transformation. And with the passage of Proposition 47, many clients will now have a better chance in finding employment and advancing into education. Individuals are ready to make a change. They paid their debt to society. And this gives op opens up the opportunity for them to become employed, become self-sufficient, and provide for their families. Under the proposition, roughly 900 inmates currently under custody in Kern County will be eligible for resentencing, but it doesn't necessarily mean they will be automatically released from custody. We have a big programming philosophy that's uh, operating within our detention facilities in which uh, AB 109 was the impetus for. Um, so now we're going to kind of have to readjust our programming um, to be more applicable to a longer term inmate. Prop 47 makes property crime offenses and shoplifting from felonies into misdemeanors. Attorneys say offenders normally booked into jail for those crimes will now be cited and released, signing a promise to appear in court. Part of what we do is we try and change the mindset. If there's something is uh, has a, a big enough punishment, um, then people don't want to do it or they're going to do it less frequently. If they have a reduced punishment, they are all, they're going to go ahead and do it because what's the point? Eventually, community leaders say the initiative will help save the state money and reduce overcrowding in jails. I think that we have competing priorities in our community, and I think um, there's always going to be various viewpoints. In Bakersfield, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.